is my first official art set for the incredible link at Broadstone Middle. So welcome! I know you guys have already had the links for my previous art videos, uh, which are for the school I work for, the lovely Priory School, but it was so lovely to catch up with you on a, on a Zoom meeting and it was lovely to meet some of you for the first time. So I thought it would be lovely if I could dedicate this art session to you guys, the amazing kids at the incredible link at Broadstone Middle. We adore you, you do a phenomenal job, staff. My son Archie has never been happier than he is right now, and that's due to all your phenomenal hard work. So thank you very much. So although this lesson is based for you guys at the link, as always, Priory children, you can join in, the more the merrier. And anyone else at home who is a little bit bored and wants to have a go at something arty, you can join us, the more the merrier. So this first art lesson, I thought we'd start very simply, work our way in nice and gently. And we're going to do something that is something I love to do. It's a little bit like an art collage, and it's all based around nature. Now I know Natasha has been encouraging us all to go out for walks and to look at nature and see the things around us. And so that's what I did with two of my children, my two youngest children. And we went out and we looked at leaves and trees. And I thought we could research the colours, research the shapes, and then turn that into a nature art collage. So, come on, join us for a walk. Okay, so I'm out with my children on our daily walk and we thought we'd show you some leaves and things that we found to see if we could paint them. Okay, let's have a look. What does it feel like? Is it... Is it fluffy? Is it rubbery? So if we were to paint that, we would need to make it very, very shiny and smooth, wouldn't we? Whereas if you look at these here, I'll just zoom in here. They are fluffy, they're like feathers. So we, we would use not too, um, yeah, of course. We'd use not too much paint, probably, and very wispy. What does it feel like, guys? Is it, is it nice? Don't break it. And here we've got a similar leaf that's sort of rubbery and smooth, but look how it's, it's actually incredibly stripy, which is amazing. That would be a fantastic one to paint. So I think we'll try that. Look at these here, look. Look, these are strange. So this is where I walk with the children. Most days it's a little green area near my house. And the great thing about it is seasonally, the leaves and the trees, they all change. These bare trees behind me, let's see if I can do it this way. I'll point them above my head. These are blossom trees. And in the spring, summer, they're amazing. They cover everything in pink petals, which is beautiful. So I thought we could try and paint a pink blossom tree. Let's see what else we can find and paint. 